I'm originally from Tennessee. I had taught three years and coached in the state of Tennessee. Decided to take a break, then decided to get back into education after I got out of the Air Force. I think what drew me back to education was being around the kids, and if you're around kids, you have a tendency to be pumped up. You know, once you, you know, got that bug, it's hard to get rid of. Initially, I coached uh, baseball, track, and basketball. The coaches were a role, a role model, and I think kids really love being out there if they could impress a coach or if they had a coach that was real supportive. I think kids always did better. When I started coaching or when I came to Las Vegas, there were eight high schools. There weren't a lot of coaching positions. And so it was very difficult to get a head coach. So I decided at that point, maybe I'll try something else. So I went into administration. And then once I got into administration, naturally the athletic administrator door was wide open. So you know, I wanted to do that. I would much rather be remembered as a coach and working with kids than to be remembered as an administrator of somebody who said no and gave you bad news. You know, it seems like that's what you have to do when you're an administrator. I had a lot to do with changing the regulations for athletics in the state of Nevada. Along with some other people, I kind of spearheaded the flag football, which some people like and some don't, but I think that was something that we had to do for Title IX purposes. There are not a lot of flag football rules, there are not a lot of programs to draw from, so we had to kind of make it up on the fly, so I thought that was fun. It was a tough decision to retire, uh, but at some point you don't want to stay till it's too late, till you overstay, and uh, then you start making mistakes and you make bad decisions, so uh, it was a tough decision, but I thought it was time. The best advice I have for a young, af young athlete would be to try. A lot of kids have talent. They don't choose to, to go out and use it or try. So, I, so if you don't get involved, you, you know, it's kind of like the, you know, the lottery. If you don't play, you, don't, you, you can't win. I'm very honored and grateful to receive this award. You know, a lot of times educators don't get a reward or don't get any, you know, somebody shakes your hand and says thank you and that's it, you know, after a long career. So it's, uh, it's an honor that, uh, that uh, makes you feel proud to be an educator. Uh, you know, I'm very honored and, and, uh, and grateful for it.